Hey there, Nina Kaufman from Business Exponential, helping B2B consultants streamline their business, pivot for growth, and earn what you deserve. So talking about deserving, this is a time where small businesses really deserve funding. And as many of you have done, you've taken out payroll protection program loans. So what's starting to come down the pike is the issue of forgiveness. Now, whew, we can all use a little forgiveness in this time and, and crazy, crazy time that we're in, couldn't we? But when in, within the context of the PPP, you have to apply for forgiveness. It's not automatically granted. So one of the things that just came down the pike this past Friday, May 15th, was that the SBA and the Treasury shared their new application for that loan forgiveness. And this application is due right now as of October 31st. So you have a little time, but I wanted to share just some top tips about what they are looking for and how they're clarifying their guidance. So you can start to get those documents and information in place. And that way, it's a no-brainer when you fill out that application. So there are three things that the SBA clarified. And they include the, the time period where they're going to be measuring that eight-week time period that's applicable to your loan. They're looking at which kinds of employees are included or excluded. And they're looking at owner's compensation. So regarding the time period, there's an eight week time period. It used to be, it starts to run when you got the funds, but now you have an option to choose. So that's a nice thing for small business owners. And second thing has to do with employees because the payroll protection program wanted you to keep the same number of employees in place. But sometimes there's a really good reason that they didn't stay on. And now this application allows you to not be penalized if those employees affirmatively chose to go in a different direction. So that's another good thing. And the third has to do with owner's compensation. A lot of solo and small business owners that I work with, they're not on salary, they're taking draws. So the new guidelines for the application allow you to look back at your 2019 owner's compensation and include those figures, even if it's not strictly noted as salary. So again, those are three things, the timing, the kinds of employees, and the owner's compensation. You'll see a link on the end slide to the new application for loan forgiveness and the guidelines and instruction sheets that go along with it. And if you have any questions, reach out to me at nina at businessexponential.com. Again, it's a frustrating time, I know. The rules keep changing, but in the spirit of forgiveness, whoever's coming up with this program, they're building the plane as they fly it. So as they say, we're all in it together, sort of, and we're all doing our best. So with that, I'm Nina Kaufman from Business Exponential, so you can own a business that doesn't own you. Thanks for listening.